What is up guys, Star Wars Only here, and today we're going to talk about the man, the myth, the legend, the disappointer, the creator, the letdown, George Lucas. A lot of names for this guy. Rich is definitely one of them. Boy's rich. So, George Lucas created Star Wars. God bless you, George. I really appreciate you doing that. However, a lot of people are complaining now that they want George Lucas back. They want him to come back and make a new Star Wars movie. Well, basically a couple years ago they made a petition, or even a year ago, I don't know, I have bad memory. A lot of people are saying that, oh, we need George Lucas to come back and direct the new Star Wars movie, another one, or something like that. And now they're coming back and saying, hey, we should give Star Wars back to George Lucas. No, that's not how business works. I am 17, and I understand business than a lot of people trying to do this, apparently. George Lucas sold Star Wars to Disney for $4 billion. There's no way, there's not a snowball chance in hell that they're just going to give it back to him willy-nilly. I mean, th that's just not gonna happen. If I sell my car to a guy and a, a year later I go, I want my car back, no matter how many people say, hey, we want him to have his car back, the guy's not gonna give me my car back because I sold it to him. He bought my car. Therefore, it's his car. He's, he can't just give it back because everyone's saying, hey, give it back. No, he has a legal obligation to that car because I sold it to him for a certain value. This is how business works. This is how Star Wars and Disney work because Disney now owns Star Wars. Now, however you feel about that, I don't care at this point. But we're going to lay down the facts for you and the stats. The stats. I know a lot of you people like to go off of stats except for liberals. But we're going to give you the stats today of why George Lucas should not get Star Wars back, why he's never going to get Star Wars back, and basically the whole rundown of if George Lucas is even good with Star Wars and if, he, if he's even a good director. Now, I'm not saying he's bad with Star... Okay, I'm lying. He is pretty bad. But still, I, I, get, hear me out before I get into this. George Lucas did create Star Wars, and I really do appreciate that. But the man has good ideas, but he can't really run with them. You know, he's like, oh, I got this great idea. And we're like, yeah, George, it's good. He's like, all right, all right, all right, let's do this, that, this, and that, and I hate sand. We're like, wait, 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 what the fuck did you just say, George? I'm sorry, can you slow down. What the fuck did you just say to me? It, the, 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 the initial idea was good, George, but the, the, the sand... The fuck are you talking about, George? That That's how George Lucas is. So, let's just get into why I think George Lucas will never get Star Wars back and why he wasn't really as good as people make him out to be. So, let's just let's let's just get right into that. So, let's actually take a look at like what George Lucas has done. Uh, not not that, but you know, what what George Lucas has done as like a creator, director, all the things he's done in the film industry. Now, he's done a lot of short films. We're not going to look at that. L like let's just look at all the stuff all these films he's been involved in, a lot of them he doesn't direct. I mean, don't get me wrong, he has directed a lot of good movies, he's done fairly well for himself. But let's be honest, I mean, looking look at all these films that people give him credit for, but he didn't necessarily direct. A lot of these films don't get that many awards either. I mean, I'm not saying George Lucas is bad, I'm just saying, looking at what we're seeing, he's not a good director. I mean, let's look at Star Wars itself. He didn't direct... Three of the movies, a lot of the movies actually, two of the movies from the original trilogy. He directed A New Hope, which was, yes, really good, but he didn't even direct Empire Strikes Back. That was the one that he's been said to be least involved with, and that one was the highest praised one. And then he wasn't even involved with, um, he didn't direct uh, Return of the Jedi either. But he directed the three prequels, and look how good those did. Now, let's look at, let's look at like the reviews and everything and how they were received. Now, I don't give a fuck about how much you like this movie or that one. I'm being unbiased here. This is how it was generally received. Look at episode one. Now, now let's look at episode two. These films were not received great at all. I mean, they, they were received better than, you know, bad films, you could say. I mean, they weren't the worst fil films in the world, but they were not received that great if you look at them comparing to the original trilogy. I mean, these films are in the 50s, the 60s. I mean, this is just not how you want your film to be viewed. And I don't care if Revenge of, your, Revenge of the Sith is your favorite of all time. I truly don't care. This is how people receive the movie. I don't know why I jumped to Return of the Jedi, like, just out of nowhere, but I'm sorry. So, I mean, just, you're comparing apples to apples, I mean, because it's literally Star Wars films. But the ones that George Lucas isn't involved with, except for New Hope, I don't know why a dog's purpose came up, I'm so sorry. I mean, New Hope did great. That was George's best Star Wars movie. But Empire Strikes Back did the best, has the best reviews, yet George Lucas was barely even involved with it. And people were complaining, oh, we need him back and everything. 
Look how well The Force Awakens did. I don't give a shit if you think it's a New Hope remake. It was received a lot better than all the prequels. Every single one of them. Same with Rogue One. Yeah, it was a little different, but it was still received great. Like, you guys can't complain about progress. You can't complain about sales. Star Wars is in its golden era right now, and people are loving Star Wars again. People are enjoying it and seeing it come back to life. And I don't care if you think the prequels are the greatest thing of all time. If you're like, oh, you're just a hater. Yes, I might be a hater, but so is the majority of the casual Star Wars fan base. You go to a, some guy who's 40 years old and say, hey, do you like the Star Wars prequels? He's going to be like, oh, are you talking about the one, two, and three? And, he's, and you're like, yeah. He's like, yeah, those weren't too great, honestly. I know a lot of casual Star Wars fans that don't keep up with Star Wars. They just watch the new movie when it comes out. And they've always said, yeah, the prequels weren't that great at all. I didn't like them. And they always say the originals are better. These are casual fans. But on the topic of George Lucas, though, he did good with A New Hope, yes. But what was the problem with the prequels then? Well, the problem was he had a lot of yes men. This is pretty obvious. George Lucas in the originals was told from different people, hey, dude, this is a stupid idea. Han Solo was supposed to be a green alien. That kills the character for me. I mean, he had so many of these ideas. Like, look at the special edition. He put a rock in front of R2-D2. He made Greedo shoot first. I mean, these are things that didn't need to happen, but George Lucas has a bunch of yes-men who are like, yeah, do what you want. You're the creator. Instead of going, hey, buddy, let, let's let's look at this. This whole, um, I don't like sand bit, yeah, this, this makes zero sense, like, at all. O okay, w w why is this nine-year-old hitting on this 14-year-old? I get it's not that bad of an age difference, but if you look at it at the moment where they're at right now, it's it's a pretty awkward pretty awkward situation like he has like I said has great ideas Star Wars I mean Jesus greatest idea he's ever had honestly but when he gets a bunch of people who are going yeah George is a good idea yeah George is a good idea when it's not a good idea then things like this happen so it's not entirely George Lucas's fault that the prequels weren't received great I'm just saying that he's not the greatest director he's not the greatest writer I mean he's got some good quality writing but he has some problems on having a good idea, and then running too far with it, going too into the deep end. I mean, I'm just saying. It's it's like Facebook when they bought Instagram. I don't like Instagram the way it's going. And, you know, Facebook had some couple good ideas of, oh, let's do this, let's make sure people can, you know, see their followers better. Those are good ideas, but now they're getting into too far. Well, they're changing up and making it algorithm and instead of chronological stuff like this. They're, they're good ideas, but they're taking them too far now. That's how it is with George Lucas. George Lucas, do not get me wrong, is a good guy, and he had a good thing with A New Hope and the original trilogy and everything, and the prequels just were not received well, and that's because it wasn't entirely his fault, but in a way it was his ideas that kind of ruined things for Star Wars. So the fact that a lot of people want him back, but can't even explain why they want him back, well, it's his Star Wars. No, it's not. He sold it. I don't care if it's his baby. If I have a child and I put it up for adoption and then someone adopts it, I can't be like, hey, I want my child back, asshole. No, you gave up your child. Get over it. Move on. And I think that's what Star Wars fans need to do with George Lucas. Move on. He's gone. He's gone with the times. He got a little medal from Obama, that liberal piece of shit. But in general, he's just moved on with his life. Let him live and let die, you know? But anyway, so... What do you guys think of this video? Do you guys like George Lucas? Do you miss George Lucas? Do you wish he was involved with Star Wars again? I do agree he should come back and, you know, pitch some ideas, and they shouldn't all be turned down like they did for The Force Awakens. Uh, I didn't like his ideas of how it should, Episode 7, 8, 9 should be on even younger kids. I was like, come on, dude, are you serious? But even I have to admit that The Force Awakens was a copy and paste, and I did not like that aspect of it. But other than that, decent film. So, comment your thoughts below. Do you want George Lucas back or not? I know I don't, but what do you think? Comment, like, subscribe. I'm Star Wars Only. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. May the Force be with you, always.